Hi guys, it's Elias here again. Uh, if you remember, we had the clients uh, a huge water cooling build uh, recently and I have uh, uploaded quite a few videos regarding that build. We had left the video cards with stock cooling. The Strix cooler is uh, quite adequate, but uh, because uh, here in Cyprus during the summer, the, it's very hot. Uh, it's usually sometimes uh, over 40 degrees Celsius. So the customer decided, uh, we discussed it and he decided to upgrade these two cards and add them to the existing water cool. And we have uh, ordered the uh, EK water blocks the FC980 GTX Trix uh, blocks. These are dedicated for the uh, for this particular card. So, as you can see, it's quite big, and uh, it, uh, it's designed to cover the whole card. So, um, here we have the installation guide on how the installation should be. Always read the manual because uh, reading it. After you have done, uh, you know, uh, all the stuff and unscrewing all the screws and uh, adding the water block yourself, if you're not sure what you're doing, would be the, the worst thing because you can damage the, uh, not only the water cooling with the water block, but the card itself, which is going to cost you a fortune and make it uh, useless because the warranty is also void when you add water cooling stuff, take off the uh, stock cooler. So here we have um, some thermal pads included, three of them, some tools and uh, thermal compound, which uh, might be good, but I, I will be using my own one. Some screws and uh, washers. Yeah, nicely padded for safety reasons. And here is the water block itself. So it's quite big. Uh, it's huge actually. Some parts of it are plastic. So this part is plastic, for example. Um, this part is metal. There are no window cutouts uh, for you to, to be able to see uh, liquid flowing, but when you have the card aligned horizontally, you're not going to see any liquid uh, flowing anyway. So it's just going to be the, uh, the tube going from one card to the other one and so on if you're going to SLI it. It's a nickel plated uh, block, looks good, so you, as you can see it's as long as the PCB is, exactly the same length, to make it cover the whole card and for, for both aesthetics and cooling reasons. So we have two of these. And apart from the water block itself, uh, we've also got the um, back plate because back plates are important for structural uh, rigidity, so uh, making the card uh, more rigid. But also, you know, uh, the card may benefit from from uh, more, you know, stable cooling if you have the back plate because it's gonna cool your memory and some other components. So some, some screws straight away. Uh, and here is the back plate itself. And this system is mainly done by uh, IK Waterblocks components. Um, not because they are the the best of the best, but because they uh, offer uh, not only quality, but all sort of variety of uh, parts and components for different uh, cards and uh, motherboards. And they usually are the first ones to release 
uh, these new uh, updates for the cards. So another installation manual that you should be using along with the uh, the, the water block. It should be full aluminum. So we have some thermal comp uh, thermal pads, more thermal pads for the memory and for the backside of the uh, GPU. This is how it goes. Covering exactly the same uh, area. So it's also covering the whole PCB from the back. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, show you how I'm going to, uh, you know, disassemble it and uh, add it to the card, so you can have an idea how it's how it's done, and maybe you know, it will be helpful for someone to to do their own card. So I'll be back with uh, different video angles, so you can see it uh, easy.